Hey guys, welcome to Lindsay's Lounge. My name is Lindsay. Tonight we had the top 12 results show for American Idol for Rolling Stones Week, which was last night. I think tonight was maybe the first time in all of American Idol history that we didn't have an absolutely horrendous group performance because there was no group performance, right? Maybe I fast forwarded through it, but I don't think so. David Cook came out and sang at the beginning of the show, which was really cool. I love David Cook. Um, he sang Jumpin' Jack Flash, which is a Rolling Stones song. So yeah, I think that was in place of the group performance this week. Good idea, American Idol. I liked that. Um, so he's working on a new album. Should be out probably sometime this year. Looking forward to that. I have his first one and I really like it. So can only go up from here, maybe. Hopefully it's good. Um, talked about the Judges Save. That will be back this year. Um, wasn't sure if they were bringing that back. I was thinking about that because they hadn't talked about it at all during the semifinal rounds. But they do have it. They can use it up until the top five. Last year they used it on Matt Gerard during the top seven, I think. And that put him into the top five, actually, because they saved him for one more week. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. They even use it this year. Uh, for music video, first one of the season, they did it to some song I'd never heard called TikTok Boom. Uh, production value definitely was amped up from last year, I thought. So, good for them. Uh, but, eh, you know. Whatever, it's a stupid for a music video. I think those would probably be really fun for the contestants to make, though. <laughs> but yeah, it was whatever. Right after that for a music video, they got right into the results. And they called out Paige Miles first. And surprisingly, because they talked to her first, she was in the bottom three. I guess every time, you know, the contestants, you know, you know, who's ever, you know, called out first, they think they're going to be safe, which I always think. I'm like, okay, per first person they call is always going to be safe. But they threw us for a loop tonight and... First person they talked to is in the bottom three. Um, Lee was safe, Siobhan was safe, and Aaron was safe. And then it came down to Andrew and Tim. If you guys watched my video last night, you saw that I thought that Andrew was going to get eliminated, but he wasn't even in the top three. Tim took that place, the second place in the top three. And then they took a little bit of a break, and we watched some Australian performer named Oranthi. I don't even remember how to pronounce it. I'd never heard of her before. She sang According to You. Uh, it wasn't horrible. She's definitely an amazing guitar player. But I thought the whole vibe of the song was very like Avril Lavigne 2003. So like if I was a senior in high school, I probably would have been all over this shit. But eh, not so much now. Eh, whatever. All right. So then after that girl with the funny name, uh, Dee Dee was safe. Crystal was safe. Katie was safe. And of course, Big Mike was safe. So then um, for the last spot for the bottom three, it came down to Casey and Lacey. How clever, right? Um, and then I think between those two, it was pretty obvious that Lacey was going to be in the bottom three, which she was. So then for our bottom three for the first week, we had Tim, Paige, and Lacey. Tim was sent back to safety first, so he was... Um, you know, saved definitely, I think, by vote for the worst. And his big, huge family, he's got like 10 brothers and sisters. I know, you know that they're all voting for him like 30 times um, each, you know, which is going to add up to a lot of votes for him. Um, and then Kesha, who I really don't like all that much, came and sang some really, really awful song called Blah, Blah, Blah. Yeah, that's right. Like, ugh, it was awful. She sang with that horrible band 303 too. Ugh, I don't listen to the radio all that much and they're partly to blame because I absolutely hate that kind of music. I didn't mind when Kesha sang on that Right Round song with Florida. I think that's kind of a fun one, but eh. I almost, I probably should have fast forwarded it. I was watching it on DVR today and I don't know why I didn't. But when it came down to Paige and Lacey, Lacey is going home. She did not get enough votes to advance, and I don't really think anyone's super surprised about that. Again, I didn't think she was the worst last night, but um, just her performances in the semifinals were just not up to par with a lot of these pretty mediocre contestants so far that we've got this year. But, eh, it's alright. So, yeah. She's gone. Next week, we don't know the theme. I don't believe Ryan Seacrest told us what it was going to be, so it might be a little bit of a surprise to us next week. Maybe there's going to be a uh, surprise guest judge. Who knows? I haven't heard any guest judges that are going to be on the show this year, I don't think, so yeah. I know, I keep saying this, I know that I heard that Kelly Clarkson was going to do something with the show this year. I really thought she was going to be a guest judge during the auditions, but she wasn't, so maybe she'll be a guest um, mentor. That would be cool, right? I love Kelly Clarkson. She's, like, amazing. Um, but, yeah. 
So I will talk to you guys next week. That's all I really can say. Bye, Lacey. <laughs> See you guys later. <laughs>